Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate creative stories with Google Gemini. So I work as a content creator for children's educational website and my objective is to generate engaging and creative stories every day on multiple titles. And doing this process manually from scratch is going to consume a lot of time. Therefore, I want to automate this entire process. Now I want that in my Google Trees, whenever I'm going to add a new title related to a new story, then immediately a unique story should be generated with the help of Google Gemini. Gemini for that same title and it should be saved successfully in my Google Docs. So how we are going to automate this entire process that we are going to do without the requirement of any coding and programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect by simply setting up connections between all these applications. So if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step for that you have to come towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. So as I told you we are going to learn step by step how to generate creative and unique stories with the help of Gemini that too automatically. So what I'm going to do I'm going to simply add a new New title in my Google Sheets which I have prepared for the Wonder Tales, the educational website for which I want to create the stories and as soon as I will add a new title along with a new date in this particular spreadsheet automatically with the help of Gemini a creative and engaging story will be generated for that same title and it will be added and saved successfully in my Google Docs. Okay, so we are going to quickly start the automation and that too we are going to create it with the help of Pabli Connect. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser after coming over here you will find two options sign in and sign up for free so in case if you are already an existing user you can directly click on sign in option but if you are a new user you have to click on the sign up for free button to create your free new account and that is going to take just two minutes of yours also when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations all right so here because i'm already an existing user so i'm going to click on sign in option which is going to take me towards all apps section. Here we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's quickly click on access now. And now we are reached towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, you will find all your workflows which we have created. And you can also create different folders over here to save your workflow successfully and separately. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this blue button, create workflow. As we have done that, our dialog box has appeared in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, I'm going to give a name over here. Generate creative stories with Google Gemini. After giving the name to my workflow, I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save my workflow. You can see I have multiple folders over here. So I'm going to select one of the folder that is automations for task management. After doing this, we will simply click on create. Now, as we have done that, we can see that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the principles, or we can say these are the building blocks on which the entire automation works. Here, the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. Now let's suppose here my objective is that as soon as I'm going to add a new title related to a new story over here in my spreadsheet, then immediately on that title I want to generate the content for the story. I want to generate the story with the help of Gemini. So I'm going to take Google Sheets in my trigger and Google Gemini in my action step. Okay, but here when we are going to set up the connection between these two applications, we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands. Because when the trigger happens, that means when the title is added over here in the spreadsheet, then only According to that title, the story will be generated from Google Gemini, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger and action, let us start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, in order to start the workflow, we have to go towards our trigger step. Here our trigger application will be Google Sheets. So let's quickly select that. After selecting the application, we also have to select the trigger event that is new or updated spreadsheet row. As we have done that, we can see that a webhook URL is received to us along with some instructions. So we simply have to follow these instructions step by step to set up our connection between Google Sheets and Public Connect and the URL which is received is going to act as a bridge because it is going to transfer the data from this Google Sheets towards Public Connect, okay, whenever the new row will be added according to our trigger event. Now let's simply copy the webhook URL. After doing this, I'm going to take you towards my Google Sheets to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do for building this connection now here we have the spreadsheet and we have to go towards the extensions on top and we have to go towards add-ons when we will click on this get add-ons button 
it has taken us towards google workspace marketplace and here you have to search for pabli connect web books and you have to install pabli connect web books as it is the extension or the add on which you need to install in order to set up connection between google sheets and pabli connect as you can see i have already installed the add on so i'm just going to cross this and once you will install the add on for the very first time you also have to refresh your spreadsheet so that you can see the option over here of pabli connect web books after we can see the option let's go towards initial setup basically we have to perform an initial setup in which we have to enter two details in order to set up this connection here in the details we have webbook url and triggered column so first of all let's quickly paste the url which we have copied from pabli connect in this webbook url field the next is triggered column so the concept of triggered column says that whenever you're going to add a new row in your spreadsheet up till this particular column immediately the entire row will be sent towards pabli connect that to automatically you can see in my spreadsheet i have two columns column a and column b i want that whenever i'm going to add a new row in my spreadsheet that means when i'm going to add a new date and new title so whenever the data will be entered in that new row up till b column then immediately the response should be captured to the webbook url so here i'm going to enter b as my trigger column according to your data according to your requirements you can select the trigger column and then you have to click on send test button to send this test response of the row to inside pabli connect as we have done that you can see that the test data is sent successfully now we'll submit the initial setup and after configuring the setup we will simply close this and we'll move back towards pabli connect after coming over here we have received the response immediately and in this response you can see we have received all the details this is the trigger column which we have selected here is the title of the story mia and the talking moonstone here we have received the spreadsheet name that is wonder tales the spreadsheet id this sheet name sheet id row index that means the row number in which we have received that means the row number in which the data is added and here we have the date okay so the same date so all the details are same and we have received the response this means that our connection between google sheets and pabli connect is absolutely successful after setting up the connection because our objective is that now whenever we are going to add a new row up till our trigger column immediately the data should be keep on sending without any manual response so what we have to do we have to simply go towards extensions once again pabli connect web books and this time we have to click on this send on event button as we have done that we have made sure that whenever now we are going to add a new row over here the data will be keep on sending towards pabli connect after getting the response our objective is to generate the story for this title which we have received from google sheets now to generate the story because we are going to use google gemini so we have to set up the connection between gemini and pabli connect now our action application over here will be google generate ai that is gemini and after selecting the application now we have to select the action event that will be generate the content we'll click on connect as we have done that it is asking us to build the connection now to build a new connection with my google generate ai account i'm going to go with add new connection but in case if you already have an existing connection you can also go with that as we have selected add new connection we have to provide a token an api key in order to build this connection and how we are going to get that for that the instructions are provided to us we have to first of all log into our google gemini account as i have already done that and then we have to click on this google AI Studio hyperlink, which is going to take us towards the Google AI Studio. From where we have to generate the API key, and it has taken us towards the Google AI Studio. Now we'll simply click on Get API Key button to create the new API key. As we have done that, now we have to click on this Create API Key button, and now it is asking us to generate the key. We have to select a project. So we have already created multiple projects. We are going to create the key in that existing project only. So I'm going to select the project my first project but in case if you have not created any project up till now so you can create a new project and then you have to create the new key inside that project okay so now i'm going to click on create api key in existing project which i have selected and then as soon as we have done that here our key is ready so let's simply copy that we'll cross this move back and i will quickly paste it over here done in the same manner you have to generate the api key from google ai studio and you have to keep in mind that you are already logged into your gemini account before that let's click on save and with this our google generative ai account is successfully connected with pabli connect so let's move forward here we have to enter the text the model and the method so text is the prompt or the order which we are going to give to gemini that what we want it to do for us here i just want to generate a unique and creative along with engaging story on the title which i have received from google sheets so my text will be generate a creative and engaging story on this title also include moral in the story for children so according to my requirements i have given the text over here that what i want in the story i want an engaging story a creative story as well as i also want the moral in my story for the children because as my requirement is as per to children okay according to your requirements in the same manner you can give the points or each and every detail which you want in the content which you are generating to gemini so that your content will be on point and as per your desires okay now i'm simply 
simply going to enter the title over here on which I want to generate the story and because we have already received the title so we will simply use that same title from our previous response. When we insert a data from our previous step it is called as mapping. So this is my previous step here are all the details which we have received in the response this is the title I have simply mapped that and done. When we map a title it becomes dynamic and now it is replaceable with each and every new response. So now whenever a new title will be added in our Google Sheets and the response will be captured automatically the title which we have mapped is going to be replaced and in this way we are going to generate the stories for each and every new title which are being added in our Google Sheets. Alright so as we have done that let's move forward now we have to select the model by using which we want to generate the content. We have multiple models over here so I'm going to select model Gemini Pro over here. Now we have to select the method and here the method will be generate content okay done after doing all the things let's click on save and send test request button and see whether we have received the response or not and yes here we can see that the response is received in this response we have received a unique and a creative story as you can see on the same title which we have entered okay so because we have received this story we are going to create a document for this story automatically now once we have received the story from google generative ai we have to create a document for each of the stories so for that now we have to set up the connection between google docs and Pabli connect so i've logged into my google docs account now i'm going to click on this add action step button and you will simply select our action application as Google Docs. After selecting the application, now we have to select the action event that will be create a blank document. Okay. So first of all, in order to insert our story into our document, we have to create a blank document inside our Google Docs account. And then after that, we are going to append the paragraph, append the story in that same document. Okay, let's click on connect. And because I've already built a connection with my Google Docs earlier, so I'm going to go with this existing connection only currently. In case if you want to build a new connection, you have to click on this add new connection button and then you have to click on sign in with Google. Now simply click on save. As we have done that, we can see that Google Docs is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So we'll move forward here. It is asking us what is the name of the document in which you want to create the story or which you want to create over here as a blank document so the name over here will be according to the title of the story so what i will do i will simply enter the title over here okay done i have mapped the title so now according to each and every new title of the story the document names are going to be replaced we will simply click on save and send test request button and we can see that a document is generated over here here we have received that document ID. So by using this ID now we are going to append the paragraph in the document. Okay, so let's click on this add action step button once again. We have to simply set up the connection once again between Google Docs and Pabli Connect. So let's simply select Google Docs over here. Our action event this time will be will be append a paragraph to a document. So the paragraph will be the story and we are going to insert that story to the document which we have recently created. Let's click on connect. We will go with the existing connection only. And here it is asking us the document name. So the document is already created as Mia and Talking Moonstone you can see the name of the story title is over here as the name of the document and it is a blank document we want to insert the data over here but every time we are going to add a new title in our sheet as we are creating an automation we do not want to change the name of the document one by one so what we will do we will simply turn this mapping button on we will remove the existing data from here and we will simply map the ID which we have received from Google Docs as we have created the blank document over there and done after doing this here, you can see that document ID is mapped and now it is going to replace with each and every new response automatically. Now it is asking us to insert the text. So the inserted, so the text to be inserted is this, the story which we have received. Okay, after mapping the data, let's simply click on save and send test request button. As we have done that, we have received the response. In this response, once again, we have received the document ID. That means our document is successfully updated with the story which we have added. So let's go and check. And yes, here we can see that on my blank document, a story is added over here. The name of this document is related to the title of the story. And in this and inside the document, the story is added successfully. In this way, I've generated the story with the help of Gemini and automatically I've saved that story successfully in my document as well. As we have already set up the connection successfully between Google Sheets, Google Gemini and Google Docs. So now whenever I'm going to add a new title over here in my spreadsheet, immediately the story will be generated on that title and a blank document will be added inside my Google Docs account. In that blank document, along with the name of the title, automatically the story will be added. Okay, in this way, we are going to create the stories and we are going to save the stories separately in separate documents inside our Google Docs. You can also create a separate folder for that. So now we are going to test the live example. Here I'm going to add a new date and a new title of the story. And immediately as soon as we will do that, we will go and check on Google Docs and a document will be created for that story title. Okay. So I've added the date and now I'm going to add the title over here. 
द एडवेंचर्स ऑफ बेनी द ब्रेव बियर ओके दिस इज अ डेट एंड हेयर इज द न्यू टाइटल फॉर द स्टोरी सो लेट्स गो एंड चेक टूवर्ड्स गूगल डॉक्स एंड यू कैन सी दैट हेयर अ न्यू डॉक्यूमेंट इज क्रिएटेड विद द नेम एज द एडवेंचर्स ऑफ बेनी द ब्रेव बियर एंड हेयर वी हैव द स्टोरी एज वेल ओके सो दिस मीन्स एट अवर कनेक्शन इज एब्सोल्यूटली सक्सेसफुल एंड अवर वर्क फ्लो इज रनिंग फाइन टू सो इन द सेम मैनर यू कैन जनरेट क्रिएटिव स्टोरीज फॉर योर रिक्वायरमेंट्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ जेमिनाई एंड दैट टू ऑटोमेटिकली सो बाई यूजिंग दिस सिंपल स्टेप्स यू कैन वेरी इजिली क्रिएट दिस ऑटोमेशन वेयर यू कैन सेट अप अ कनेक्शन बिटवीन योर गूगल शीट्स गूगल जनरेटिव ए आई एंड गूगल डॉक्स इन सच अ वे दट एज सून एज यू आर गोइंग टू एड अ न्यू टाइटल इन योर गूगल शीट्स रिलेटेड टू द स्टोरी दैन इमीडिएटली द कंटेंट द स्टोरी विल भी जनरेटेड ऑन दट टाइटल एंड इट विल भी एडेड इन साइड गूगल डॉक्स सो आई होप दिस वीडियो वॉज हेल्पफुल फॉर यू थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli dot com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum dot pabli dot com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.